What else is going on with the Yankees? They're close to getting a couple other people back as well. Kevin Euclid and Mark Teixeira will both play for Double A Trenton tomorrow and Thursday. They could be back as early as Friday. Andy Pettit threw a simulated game today. Uh, they'll give him extra time. He, I mean, his fifth day would be Sunday. He's not going to start that early. So probably next week sometime as long as he comes through okay. So the Yankees are getting healthier. I don't know if Overbay had gone on the record before he came on with me today, but he went on the record now. I want to stay. I don't care if I play once a month. I don't want to go to another team. I don't want to start on a team and ha go to a losing team. I want to win a championship. I want to stay here. I like it here. I don't care if I play once a month. I want to contribute. I'll help any way I can. So he made it very clear I'd rather – play off the bench here then at this stage of my career start somewhere else so that question I, I don't know if he had answered that before but he answered it very clearly today did he tell you he tried to hit right-handed no he never told me that <laughs> but he did tell me that because that might be one of his he, best shot at, he did at, at tell me that he wanted to stay yeah. though and you know i don't what? blame him Would, wouldn't, wouldn't rid, you want to stay no i would rather play every day i'd be honest with you. really yeah i mean as long as it wasn't well, a well, i wouldn't want to play on the houston now, astros the thing is his, his I, well, he considered I, his career almost over in spring training you know when the red Sox let him go he thought his career was over an hour later his phone he could still play he did say that but he did say that he thought it had a chance to be over because it was so late in the year right but he thought he could still play sure yeah was so, just giving a chance i mean right. he's looking at it realistically i right. think i think in the short term he's got a future here because the yankees have to be sure to share his wrist well, is okay. they gotta wait a month I in think, the anyway. law in the long term their roster is a little inflexible with left-handed batters that can't do anything else except you know hafter's dh and overbay can only play first really well first and you know what listen here's the one thing you have some weak right-handed hitters in this lineup, you have two catchers who are right-handed. Keeping him around just to pinch, pinch hit, hit late, for sure. a right-handed catcher, mm -hmm. then putting the other catcher in the game yes. can be a big at bat five, six times. Absolutely. And it could be big in the postseason. Uh, keeping him around, spelling to share once a week. I mean, Hafner can be injury-prone. I'm just trying to make a case sure, for of him. Course. I think I can make a case to keep him on the roster, especially if he's willing to do anything to stay. Your case with Hafner is a very good one. It's just that in, if everybody's healthy in the short term. And he hasn't got hurt makes, yet. Half the, right. Except for like a day. The but, shoulder thing comes right. from a couple of days. But the point in, is. In the short term, yeah. it's hard. In the short term, listen, they make the roster very inflexible. You've got to keep them yeah. here for the short term because, you, listen, mm -hmm. uh, you got to get. long term, you, I mean, yeah. Short term, mm -hmm. you've got to keep the share here for at least a couple. you got to keep over Bay for a couple yeah. of weeks. First of all, you don't want to play Mark every day. Right. Not right to, uh, to start. Secondly, you want to make sure to share uh, share is 100% His healthy because problem, why have Obaday leave and then have him you know, with what's going on? The biggest problem is to share is not a platoon guy because he's a switch hitter. No, he's got to play. He's, no. he's a great defensive player. Listen. He's not defensing for him late in the game. No, to share has got to play. You're Listen. gonna, you know, the Yankees have spent a lot of this season, Mike, playing a man short. They kept Kevin Euclid on the bench for a week when he was physically unable to play, hoping that he they wouldn't have to DL him. They kept Eduardo Nunez on the uh, bench for a week, hoping that he could play and and, and they didn't have to DL him. Neither case it worked out for them they 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 keep boxing themselves into holes here it'll it hasn't bitten them yet but you know you understand that they're trying to play with the roster here and it leaves the, in, can, in the long term it leaves them inflexible you can keep them here i now you can especially keep them here if you don't mind being a little short in the outfield defensively uh the reason why is you can pinch hit him for the shortstops. Right. You can pinch hit him for Adams. You can pinch hit him for the catchers. So you have some positions you can pinch hit him for in this lineup. The Yankees just have a lineup you never pinch hit anybody. Now you have some positions you can pinch hit him for, which gives him a little more flexibility than in the past. You're very limited. You got to be careful pinching for Adams. Then you got to slide somebody else over to third base. Right. And I'm not sure. I'm just you talking can about in a pinch. This right is now. the eighth inning. You know. Yeah, you know, that's. You're trying you to win a to, game. Yeah, you, you, know? play, you don't need to play Vernon Wells at third base well, again. Well, you're going to have to do in those situations. Well, but sure. well, listen, you do have Adams might not be here Brignac. much longer anyway if Euclid's coming Nicks back. You could put and Brignac there together, you know. Now, when Euclid comes back, it's even more limited. Well, you, you're, talking about, I'm, you're talking about bringing back Teixeira, Euclid. Now I say you're going to keep over okay? You're going to bring back Teixeira and Euclid in a couple of days yes. here. So that you know, takes gonna, away into the spot. Probably Adams right. and Brignac, I would think, at this point. So... I'm not even sure Brignac because he needed a backup well, shortstop. But you're going to have Nixon Nunez here, so you can always pinch it for your shortstop. And you're going to have... We don't have Nunez at all. Well, no, I'm saying if you have Nunez back instead of Brignac. He's not okay? even close to being back. Right, then. well, whenever he comes back. Or you have Brignac. So you have Brignac and Nix. You have the two catchers. He can pitch it for either one of those, and you have someone to slide in. I'd rather have him on the team than have Bosch on the team, clearly. 
Yeah, you could do that, but the problem is Bosch can play outfield and, and over Bay that's can. That's you get limited. You know, you, you only have, then you're only playing with three outfielders. That's when you get limited in the outfield. And that's, that's, and that's a, the problem. That is yeah. an issue. There's that's no the problem here. You know, and, yeah. and, and everybody's left-handed. You know, that's the that's the other big hey, listen, issue. Listen, their lineup tonight isn't any good because with half the lineup and no DH, their lineup really looks weak tonight. You've got Adams batting fifth, over Bay fourth. Over Bay's not a cleanup hitter by any stretch, and you got Adams batting fifth. This is not a great lineup. What, and what you saw.